Welcome aboard everyone. Before we get moving, please be sure to fasten your seat belt, return your seat back and folding trays to their full upright position, and store your carry-on luggage in either an overhead bin or under the seat in front of you. If seated next to an emergency exit, please read carefully the instructions located by the exit. If you do not wish to perform the functions described in them in the event of an emergency, please perform the flight attendants so that they may be We request that all portable electronic devices What is going on good folks out there? Very, very warm welcome to Sim Aviator. Good to see all of you here today. We are back next plane again and onto the CRJ. Where if, if the rumors are right, we are just less than a month away from X Plane 12 open beta. And that is that is pretty exciting. If that is true, like I'm not saying it's true, I don't know. I do not know if it's true. But that's what the rumors say and uh, those seem to be really legit but welcome aboard once and once again <laughs> true stone true the goat is as always in the house welcome aboard my friend and we're at dayton airport like i, I have never flown in or out of this airport before uh, we got some uh, ga aircraft coming in uh, that's uh, traffic global um, if it's Vatsim traffic, you'll have a little label on top of it. That's how I have kept it. So, you know, I can fly on Vatsim and, you know, I have more aircrafts in the world at the same time as I usually don't fly um, at like events and something. It's usually not there on Tuesday then. So, is how it is. Who says, who comes up with a METAR right here? Wind 020 at 7 with goodies. Good. Clouds 25,000 feet. Yeah, looks like a few clouds up there. That's cool. Uh, temperature 292.8 and altimeter 290. But welcome aboard. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button. And let's get started with this. Now, I do not have my, uh, my stream deck today. I'm here. You guys are just going to have to deal with a little bit of... Uh, what you call it <laughs> a little bit of slower transitions and that kind of stuff uh but let's let's get this thing going let's get the beats going and jump straight into the cockpit here we go completely cold and dark uh we're gonna go ahead uh let me see all right so we do have that i'm gonna go it's been a while since i've flown this bit external yeah external i want to tint it uh, um use external power 
Alright, so I'm gonna go DC service on battery master coming on. And I'm gonna go straight away to AC power. Do some self tests here and we should go from there. Uh, let's get that light going up. Uh, APU gen, I'm just gonna turn on right now. Uh, for the As for the lights, we're gonna go nav lights on. Um, taxi lights and all that can. Okay, else can be turned off while we refuel. Uh, emergency lights are in position, recirc. Fans coming on. And so are the packs. Uh, at uh, so far so good. I haven't I haven't flown this aircraft in a while, so it might take me some time. But before we do anything else, we're just gonna go ahead and load up the aircraft. Uh, let me get my sim brief flight plan going. It says number of packs is 88. That's okay. So our, our aircraft can only get eight, so eight, eight people will be bumped to the next flight. Um, that's all cool for the fuel. We are away. Why is this in pounds? Hold on. There we go. All right, back to fuel. Uh, I'm looking at uh, 4.8. So this is about 4.3. I'm just gonna go ahead to get my 500 more 50. So, 2400 on each. Let me do 2440. 2440. Enter 2440. There we go. Just a little bit of inconsistent load. But uh, yeah, this, there's literally no way to do that. Like, it just kind of tries to rebalance itself. Uh, but yeah, let's check that out that's cool uh, if I have like uh... okay that's that's about it righty spike flies is in the house what's going on my man welcome aboard good to see you man. Um, all right so I mean uh, does my iPad work with this okay. I think it should Probably. Never mind. Oh, there it goes. There it. Alright, let me get the controls cam on here real quick. Uh, do there. Uh, let's go ahead to flight plan. A K D A Y. Why is it not typing? Oh. What on earth is going on here? My plan K. Yeah, like these are working. What? Why? Let me get rid of this uh, FMF. Pausing it. Let me go ahead and the device. Screen. Let's see if it works now. Hmm. What's happening here? Now, let me see. Uh, let me try... Why? Maybe on this side? Let's see. Flight plan. Okay. Oh, there he goes. And K. Okay. Something seems off on this FMS. Like at least it's working here, so that is cool. Okay, there we go. All right, I think we've got it. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna get the FMS. Back on. Steve. Oh yeah, we we figured it out. Like Sly says, hey, hey Sim, I've been getting really good landing in the A320 yesterday. I landed in some a negative 119 in today. Nice, man. 
That is that is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, if you yeah, it's all about practice and trying to figure out how to make things better. Exactly how you want to do it. All right, K D A Y K about uh, eight P L. We're going to Atlanta. That in destination. Uh, company route we're not using. We are Delta eleven eighty nine for today. Uh, so A340. Oh, nice, nice. That that's 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 pretty impressive. That's, that is definitely impressive. All right. So um, let's execute that, and then I'm gonna go to departures and arrivals. Uh, departure. Let me check if what I have on uh, Ratsim. Uh, not sure if I'm in any of the airspaces. So let me quickly take a look at that. Um, and I, I still miss my stream deck today. It's I had to use it for something else. Uh, but anyway, where am I? All right, so that's Cleveland Center. Uh, where am I? Hold on. Delta 11 9 Perch. Maybe I'll try sim over here. Let me give me one second. Sorry about that. Just want to make sure I'm not moving without permission. Can I search a flight on sim over here? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, there it is. Delta 1189. Ryan. Doesn't show me the ATC, does it? Why is this so confusing? Just waiting. I believe there is no ATC. I believe so. Okay, at least, okay, I found myself. We are outside ATC. That is cool. Found it, found it, found it, found it, found it. All right, cool. So we're good to go. We're going to do Daytona set of uh, Day, Dayton 7. Uh, I'm going to keep saying that over and over again because I'm so used to Daytona. But we're not there. We're in Dayton. All right, so runway 36, um, according to Drew, we have 020. So 020. Let me check. Oops. No worries, man. No worries, John. What happened with your audio, though? Uh, airport 10-9. Forgot something. Alrighty. Um, so... We are 020. So 36. Yeah, 36 makes the most sense. Cool. We're going to take runway 36 as Sim Briefs told us to. Well, let's go to the next one. Actually, I have this. Why am I using that? <laughs> runway 36, Daytona 7, departure, execute. Uh, I'm going to go to flight plan again. Uh, next page. And uh, we're going to go direct to the waypoint retrieval. So That, that's good. Execute that. Direct to BG. The Cincinnati VOR, I believe. Where the hell is G? Um, direct to FLM VOR. Oh. And a direct Katrin. Oh, there's no no K eighteen. Eighteen. Z 
be good. Let's go to the arrivals for Atlanta. I'm gonna select the Andre on arrival. Metric condition. You check the legs page here. Check for discontinuities. Need a discount there. Fix that. Next. Next. No easy. That is taken care of. FMS is good, actually not yet. I'm um, just gonna quickly check targets. We have time. Uh, let's do two eight zero slash eight seven two on that climb. Uh, let's go to the next page that cruise. Uh, point eight ugh, too fast for a CRJ. Two point seven five. Two ninety slash eight a minute. Two ninety slash. The so cruise altitude for today flat level 330. Whatever. Figure that out and the descent. Uh yeah, that that looks about good. Maybe too fast on the weird it used to work but yeah this is all taken care of for performance we are gonna go to this EFB right here we're gonna go right what on earth or <laughs> right here so this is set according to our current speed and I'm gonna do load takeoff speeds uh, that's cool uh, V2 is looking at 138 let me check if my takeoff speed Present arc. I get rid of the yoke here and uh, the nav source FMS one. That's cool. Um, format I want range minimum. You can do that. Cool. Oh. Um, all that is taken care of. Altimeters two niner niner niner. I'm um, just gonna quickly double check that uh, whether you think. Okay, uh, huh. Okay. A D A Y. Search so zero two zero at seven and two nine nine. Alright, that's cool. So this one's taken care of. Let's bring the yield back. Uh wow, the FPS seems pretty good. Fifty two. Not bad at all. Uh nav source FMS one. Uh, altimeter two nine or nine and just talking about FPS, I was. That is alright. Oh, trim. I don't know if I can set right now, but what was the number there? A 7.8. So let's get it there and then we'll, we'll, see, we'll double check it again uh, for this one. But anyway, looks like we're good to go. Let's turn on the APU here. That comes in and let's hit the start the fuel boost pumps in. Are ready to go here in a second. Uh, it's good to go for now. Uh, all right, check on the APU. APU SOV open and yeah, part here. I know that. Um, and APU is alive as well. So oh, better push back. Start push back. Ground cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. Cockpit. Toe is and I gotta off. make sure my videos are working. Uh, I keep forgetting how to do this. There we go. Transmit and receive, and then the volume will up. Put ourselves on one two two decimal eight. This one I'm gonna be on the intercom. That's go oh, taken care of. And I, I don't even know if there's anyone here. Let me check if there's any traffic. I can do a little best. 
problem. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. All right, cool. Now there's no one to test my Y set, so that's cool. Ready to connect. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my beacon light. Just gonna get the wing light. Winching strap and adapter in position. Release parking brake when ready to start pushback. External power. I'm trying to turn it off. Uh oh. Wait a sec. Wait. The Joe! Why did I lose everything? Ha! Ah. I think I lost the entire route. Great. Great stuff. No, maybe not. I do have my V speeds. I do have a next page. Uh, we have everything. Thank God for memory. Cruise. Oh, cruise altitude is gone. At least I have that. Alright. Oh, I, don't, I, did, I did not lose much. Uh, why is my AP? Wait for that. AP is quick enough. We're ready to go here. Oof! Almost had, <laughs> almost had a heart attack right here. Get rid of the music. Alrighty, APU is good to go. Uh, EGT is still steadying itself. Uh, APU Gen, uh, I want to make sure. Okay, it's on auto, so that's cool. I go here. Let's get rid of uh, the external power. Alright, so so far so good. Uh, uh, let's get the parking brake. Oh, I has my step trim and stuff. Hold on, yeah, we'll, we'll check it out after. Sure, are you gonna push it back? Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, full disclosure, been drinking my beer factor. <laughs> I see, man. That's all good. All good. Uh, let's turn on the engines. Oh, we got someone coming in. We got someone coming in. Uh, let's go. Uh, why? Okay, fuel boost pumps are on. Now let's start the left engine. I think I'm missing a step. I think I'm missing a step here. Maybe not. Let's see. Oh wait, no, I'm not. Good. Um, wow, really? that coming in did they already land operation complete set parking brake I said it in a second where is that guy I know there was someone on Watson all right cool uh, parking brake set Disconnecting to engine stand number by. two uh, engine number one is alive uh, let's go engine number two here Right engine. Let's start. Let's see positive anti rotation. About a little bit of fuel comes in. Watch that engine come alive. Ready to go. Pretty much getting ready to go. Rather, white path then has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Those engines are. Cool.
quick. Those engines are real quick. Quick to spool up is what I meant. All right, there we go. Uh, generator one and two are off, so we're gonna fix that, get those on. Uh, APU gen can go off and APU can be turned off here. Uh, APU door is open, I gotta fix that. And cut. Did I, I? I just turned it off. Oh, I see, I see. That's that's not the door, that's the SOE. That, that will turn off as soon as the uh, let's go ahead and get our heat on. Go. Uh, anti acid is not required. Uh, food. Alrighty, uh, let's get the taxi lights on. Uh, at those lights. Actually, that's the light. Good enough. I'm just looking for making sure hydraulics auto on, auto auto. Um, Ooh. What else? What else? I'm good to go. Alrighty. Uh, Seatbelt signs coming on. Ladies and gentlemen, get this one out and let's get out of here. Uh, parking brake off and we're ready to taxi. So, little taxi, small taxi here. And Dayton traffic, um, Delta 1189, taxiing runway 36 via Delta. All right, that's a pretty short taxi. Get this bad boy moving. Oh, whoa. Okay, there we go. Flaps. Let's check that. Uh, flaps are coming out. Beautiful. My chair ready for this departure. Oh, 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 not there, not there, not there. This is where we're supposed to be. Oh! I know the last time I flew this, I messed up on takeoff, and I'm not intending to do that again. Uh, trim 7.8. Oh. Pretty much have no one here. Like, we're the only one. Turn on volume. And Dayton traffic, uh, Delta 1189, uh, crossing runway 6 right at Delta, Dayton. Clear left, clear right. Crossing the runway now. Really fast for the taxi. Okay, right and left, good to go. Alright, so I'm gonna go check my altitude here real quick. I forgot to do that. Um, set it up to my Bravo. Much quicker that way. Set it to cruise 330. Uh, initial heading is going to be 005. Five, two, and for this aircraft. 
speed, I'm gonna go 250. Also, let's do 245. Alright, so autopilot panel is taken care of. I'm gonna go ahead in here. Electronic devices like phones and laptop computers may be used only when the seatbelt side is off and when permitted by the crew. And they can traffic uh, Delta 1189 landing up runway 36 Daytona. Just want to make sure all their traffic coming in to land. Ladies and gentlemen, Toga in the chat. Let's get those Togas in and we're ready to go. She ended her announcement because we entered the runway. That's pretty cool. Sorry, you guys got only half half the announcements, <laughs> not the whole ones. All right, let's go. Hopefully, I get this right this time. Engine stable. Pitch down, Toga. Release the forward pressure. Okay, my wee speeds are still there. And we won. Rotate. Pause it right. Gear up. Get that speed going. Beautiful. Let's do a little flyby off that departure. RJ for the win. Lovely. Uh, follow that speed. Uh, IAS. Bring it up. The aircraft's now asking me to pitch down to get that speed. I'm just going to trim forward a bit. And then I'm going to direct. Revo. Uh, let's go flaps up. Pitch down a little bit more to get that speed. I go. Uh oh, nope, no, 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 to climb thrust here. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, and then now we're gonna go execute that. Okay, now let's go. Now. now we should start making left turn. Ladies and gentlemen, we are airborne. They got like the actual window. They're, they're, they're tinted, like you have the option to not have them tinted, but I kind of just like the outside view better. Look at that. And look at the scenery underneath. I've never flown over this area or departed this area. So we're already at 10,000 feet. Holy crap. Right, let's, let's, uh, let's continue that climb here. To... 330 now. 330. Oh, my speed's dropping. Speed's dropping. So, wait, I'm not on speed mode. That's why. So, 
IAS. Look at that speed going up. And I gotta be slow about it, otherwise the aircraft down. That's slowly but surely is what we Continue doing that while the aircraft uh, takes their path. I'm just gonna do direct retrieval again just so that we get a direct pathing and as I'm not trying to catch up uh, good range zoom it out right here and uh, beautiful uh, our lights can go off here landing lights taxi lights wing lights are no longer needed that can be turned off as well and seat belt signs coming up Cool beans. Do a little flyby. Lovely, lovely stuff, and that's the beautiful wing view. The only complaint I have about the CRJs in general is that the wings are too small. I mean, that's obviously by design, but just, just in the sim, it's like the wing views don't give you like long enough wings. It looks kind of weird once you're used to like the airliners and other stuff. So. That's, that's the only weird thing, but uh, controls cam going off and let's focus on the chat here. Oh, before that, let's get the music back on. Uh, I do have to make sure that uh, I am on the time thrust, which I am, and I'm doing good on the speed. Uh, I'm just going to go further up to 200. Oh, wait, wait, wait a sec. Yeah, that's, that's the only issue with this aircraft is if you raise the speed, it just tries to pitch down. You gotta be real careful with that. Um, it's very sensitive, so like raise the speed slowly. There we go, 280. Hopefully the aircraft will maintain that. I haven't done the altitude right, so it'll be 33,000. And now we're maintaining 280 on the climb. The aircraft pitches accordingly, according to the power to maintain that climb for you. Alright, back to the chat. BC Flies is in the house. What's going on, my man? Welcome aboard. Good to see you here. How are you doing today? Can't make the stream as I am studying for the CAD history exam, but it's F1. Thank you, my man, and you. Good luck to you for the exam as well. Absolutely. Study hard. Study hard. Streams will continue. That's, that's all. But yeah, if you haven't already, like button is waiting for you if this is your first time on the channel look at it i can't wait to see this work though with, with the lighting and everything it's just gonna blow it out, out of the water I'm, I'm good with this like this is good quality like, without a doubt 18,000 feet let's change the altimeter to standard uh get rid of like in a very weird spot that they have put in. Oh, I've got it. This thing climbs real fast, man. This thing climbs like a rocket. And we're barely at our first waypoint. We're almost at 20,000 feet. Wow, that must be something. goes our orbit down yeah, but who do we have here today I see eight people on here but I just heard from four or the other four <laughs> kidding but did, did anyone catch the the sounds video on where I explained 12 like I thought that was pretty cool like what I saw, I mean, if you haven't seen it already, let me just give you like a review. Like obviously all the truck sounds and all those sound really good. But like the highlight of that, what I saw was pretty much the, like the, this guy was in a glider and it was like the canopy was open. And you could hear like the ambience and all that kind of stuff. And as soon as you turn it up, you start hearing inside. So then he goes, goes up and then comes back into land and then opens it back up and it's like you could you could literally feel like if you're flying it, say like in a 5.1 system or with your headset on and them sounds in, in your headset those things are gonna be nice they're gonna be really good 
it's just gonna give you that surround feeling and obviously if you are in VR holy crap that's gonna it's gonna change your experience all together it's gonna be completely nuts what's what's happening with the camera now the aircraft's trying to turn but the camera generation file had some issues I believe and we're still moving I think oh I see what's happening it's like the plane's trying to turn and the camera's trying to follow its path and that's why it's like I think it's just two things conflicting each other so it's gonna feel like the camera okay, that pretty neat yeah but so so those sounds were like oh, this is pretty impressive it's like if you're flying VR you guys are in for a treat like we're it's just gonna be a different level of uh, immersion that we all aim for usually and this the sound thing is gonna like I, I, I did not think the sound episode would probably be that good but after I watch it I'm like wow this is this is really good it's worth watching it's like a 50 minute video but I watched it at like 1.5 times the speed with like Daniela from Explain, she she talks a, a little bit slower, so I just sped it up, and it was beautiful. It, it, it was indeed like absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys have watched it, but I would recommend. And you know, it's, it just kind of shows uh, what the possibilities are. And uh, like I, all I can say is I can't wait. Blue eyes almost upon us. Um, and if rumors are right, I think we should have it before July ends, and that, that would be great. That would be awesome. Oh, by the way, um, also on another note, um, I think next Tuesday, if, if everything goes according to plan, we'll be back on MSFS and this time doing some GA flying um, on the Velocity XL. Velocity XL is what we're going to take. If you haven't seen that aircraft before, take a look at it it's a new aircraft I mean it's it, it exists in real life and um, just like just flight has made a model for it so I'm, I'm pretty excited to buy that one as well. but yeah all in all good stuff happening on both sims across the board you know both sims are getting aircraft I mean yeah explain is getting updates rather than aircrafts at this point but I'm pretty sure like you know 12 comes out what airport is that yes yeah, as, as 12 comes out you know there will be new people jumping the gun and uh, I for myself can't wait for that and then at MSFS good aircraft coming in there as well so pretty exciting well let's take a look at this uh, maps uh, let's see where we are I don't want to know what airport that is like where are we oh that's Cincinnati oh CVG if I had looked at my flight plan I would have known we're, we're gonna overfly that VOR airport Cincinnati Ooh, where, where was it the heat effects that yeah, was like that yeah they've, they've got this really well like the heat effects on this CRJs by AD simulation like absolutely unbelievable look at that you could tell but hey nice to catch the airport here can we see it from the window view? probably like way down there yeah it's impossible to see it from the window yeah what's up with the chat like it's being stagnant today I know. Uh, Spike flight. I, I forgot to read that message. Spike flight says also I'm in love with the A340. Yeah, it's 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 a pretty good aircraft. Like I know I know a lot of people are not happy with the with the textures on that aircraft, uh, but I think it's uh, the overall aircraft is pretty good. And I'm gonna wait for it for it to, like to see it on X Plane 12 before I comment on the pictures. Talking about textures, like yeah, if you zoom in, these are not good, but if you're like at a normal seating position, they, these look pretty impressive, like the leather and stuff. Yeah, I don't like the cockpit textures enough yet, uh, 
but who knows maybe the CRJs do look like that well what I do like is the scuffs on this one as well so it's like very subjective like the overhead looks good and all that kind of good stuff but yeah the reflective glass that's also pretty helpful uh, why don't we why don't we is the time up a little and fly closer to sunset here did we last to do like a night landing let's 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 do a night landing today I'm interested in it all right so I'm gonna bring this back is there a way I cannot have it pop up like so big gotta maintain that aspect Still got ways to go. Um, lights are doing good, seatbelt signs are off. Looking like a pretty calm weather out there, not much for look at that. Like, come on. This like, yeah, sure, I need hard drive space for it. But it looks great, like and sure, like, you know, some of these colors are different, but that happens on, I have seen that on MSFS as well, so, like, up at Cruise, this is awesome, no, no question about that. Wait, is, is the chat not refreshing on my end, or, or is it just, like, I'm refreshing this, make sure I'm getting all the chat in there, yeah, it's just not, just not refreshing. Yeah, guys, if you have any questions or anything, let me know, we are almost cruising up, so I gotta make sure my speed's not going too high. Um, make sure, so we'll have to back off the throttle a little bit as we come to, let's see, about 32, 400. The climb rate is 800 feet per minute. Uh, I'm just gonna... As, as that starts dropping down, I'll start dropping my throttle a little. You guys can see the chain. Auto right there. 32, 600, 700, 300 more feet to go. That climb rate should start coming down as we get closer to our cruise. Still not coming down. Now yeah, come on. Okay, there we go. There comes the indicator and I'm gonna cross back. You gotta make sure when you don't have auto throttle, you gotta make sure you got you're doing and paying attention to that. Otherwise, you are gonna stall and fall out the sky or over speed. Either of it. Raising the throttle little by little, making sure that we're, we're doing good on the speed. Speed's climbing up ever so slightly. Now we're going to be in that turn. Speed will probably drop as we... Maybe not. Maybe not. Not dropping. Looks like a good throttle setting. Um, but yeah, I'll wait for us to level off, which we are almost now make sure we're not dropping it i don't think i've ever found such a great um throttle setting so quick yeah this is great we're probably going a little faster than we had planned for but i think it's cool i am totally okay with this bike flight says hey sim you should do the tiptoe approach in San Francisco and quite quiet bridge approach. Wait, what? <laughs> Are those even a thing? We gotta look that up. I did not know. Let's check this out. Good. Let's go. Uh, approach. All I, oh, there you go. Tiptoe visual. Okay. Okay, why have I never seen this? 
and the why is this a different approach is my question so it's like at or about 6,000 at Eddy hey this is still a way a bunch of waypoints but it's it's a visual approach and uh, that's Palo Alto Airport the Martin Bridges uh, but what is it that I need to look and why is why such an approach exists is my other question well we obviously have ILS at some point you will get onto ILS but I am still trying to figure out why this approach exists maybe for people who don't have ILS but I mean usually airliners uh, yeah and Mateo Bridge okay so it's like got it Oh, we can we can give this a shot, no problem. Um, at two eight left. Okay, so this is for both the both the runways. All right, so that that is cool. Uh, at runway two eight left, turn left heading two spot two six five. Right. Oh, that's that's a go around. Sorry, from Chera heading three one zero to intercept the localizer to intercept the localizer. All right, so it's kind of visual until you intercept the localizer. Got it. And then the other one is, is a quiet bridge visual. I'm assuming this is probably like from the other side. Probably not. Okay, so yeah, I, I would really love to know why these approaches exist. We could pretty much be doing ILS in there. Uh, I know this one, it's, it's kind of like offset for the runway and then you kind of join in. I, I know about this approach. Interesting, this is like very interesting. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know the purposes, but yeah, I, I mean, yeah, uh, you can put it in the Discord uh, flight request with the approach and I'll try to get that done. Oh, look at that setting, man. Oh boy, I love it. I love it. That's, that's beautifully adjusted on the throttles. I like it. We're not even pitching up. Wow. Very interesting. Our pitch is not like above the horizon. We're not. We're we're negative pitch. Are you kidding me? Wait. Why? That shouldn't happen. Yeah, I can't. I can't see why, but yeah. Louisville. I'm assuming this is Memphis, but there's so many planes here. All planes that exit. Hell yeah, hell yeah, this is Memphis. Wait, what? No. I'm confused. That's Kentucky. I will still get Memphis on the Unicom. Should be close to it. I have no idea, like... Or maybe you rode the IK wrong. You probably didn't mean Memphis. <laughs> I'm gonna type. Go to the maps here. Isn't Memphis like it's like way too far out?
dang, this is this is nuts. Like this guy is in India. Huh? I, like this. Wow. Voice range 30, text range 300. Okay, we're everyone's having a good time here. <laughs> now everyone's selling on here. <laughs> oh boy. Seven time lapses in the house. What is going on, man? I can't get the finning. Yeah, I know, man. What's what's happening with that? <laughs> this guy doesn't even. Oh my god, he's probably never heard a voice on Unicom. Yeah, I know initially, like, you were not allowed to use voice on Unicom. You need to... Ooh! You saw that? That was cool. See? That's why I like Traffic Global. Oh my god, I feel bad for him. He thought, he thought voice still doesn't work on Unicom. Yeah, it was like... It had been like that for a while, and now it's like... Uh, it's changed, uh, you know, they changed it after... I think it's been a couple of years since you can use voice on Unicom. Yeah. Bobby Edmonds in the house, what's going on, my man? How's the flight? Oh, absolutely fantastic. I, I'm, I'm so happy and so stoked that I got the throttle setting right to maintain that speed. Like, wow. I've always had to, like, fine-tune every now and again. But right now, it's, like, just going to... So. I'm pretty happy. Flight's good. Flight's good. Stupid name change again. I can't get it because I'm stupid. And <laughs> oh boy. You can give it to me. I'll take it. I'm just kidding. Bobby Edmund says engine view from inside or for the one time. You can have it as long as you want. You can have it as long as you want. There you go. Always good to have. Guys, uh, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button so the stream reaches more people. Definitely helps the channel out. Now we're currently sitting at... Oh, what? 1189 on the sub count. We've been on that for like... Ever... For a long time now. Like, last stream we were up to 1190. And then... YouTube was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess with you and then brought it back to like 1186. Like just got rid of four of them. I don't know how that works, but whatever. So we're back climbing again. You know, it's like every time we try to climb, we're like psh, pulling you back down, and then you're gonna be like, oh, I've seen this, this, you know, this road before. I know where to go. But I just don't know how to. Okay, we got some turbulence here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to bring the seatbelt sign down. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain from the cockpit. We're experiencing some mild uh, turbulence here in flight. Um, so if you turn on the seatbelt sign, uh, please be seated and uh, until the seatbelt sign is turned back off. Thank you so much uh, for your patience and we'll let you know when it's safe to move back around in the cockpit again. Wait, what? What is that? Seven time lapses. I, 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 I don't get what you're trying to say. Are you? I see. God, I hate those people. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, Bobby. Thanks, man. Nice chop. Got a low ex. Yeah, man. True that. True that. Realistic is good. And I mean, I can't wait to see this working with like X Plane 12 weather system. That's, that's gonna be nice. All right, so looks like we got smooth weather. And the, the beautiful part or the bad part, or I mean, uh, annoying part for me about X-Plane 12 is gonna be having to actually use, start to use the weather radar real, really like, you know, try and avoid like having to learn to how to read that. I mean, right now I'm like, yeah, you know what? Maybe we don't, who needs a weather radar? Like, you know, we're good. 
But when, when that weather system comes in, we'll have to start using weather radars. That'd be fun. Experiencing near death. <laughs> People scared of planes would say. Hey, what on earth is this? Is that? It's gone. Let me check the map real quick. Uh, yeah, so we got this guy in front of us. Oh, there he is. Well, let's zoom in. Take a look. If only these contrails were yeah, uh, white, white instead of dark. But I explained to all. I'm waiting for it. Where, where, where did it go? Where did the aircraft go? I lost it. It's so hard to get the zoom right. So sensitive. So we got an American. Oh, we got an American uh, CRJ 700 in front of us. Imagine having wake turbulence and stuff. Wow. And that's why I think Tolis included the offset function for like cruise, like oceanic cruise and stuff. So that you don't, in, so you can offset your route and you know avoid the wake turbulence of your aircraft flying over you. That that would be nice. Like imagine having like that random turbulence. Oh God, I'm so excited. Remember your annoyance with? Yeah, man. I mean, I, I, I've told myself not to get annoyed with that. But look at those mountains. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I, I'm wondering why I never took this route before. It's pretty cool. Nice scenery to watch. Yeah, man, whatever. I mean, see, here's the thing. If you like your sim, fly it. Like, I'm not saying no. It's, both the sims are great. Just because there's something coming out, something new coming out in X-12. Like, don't, don't trash talk trash talking like saying oh hey msfs is better like no one asked you if msfs is better if you like it you you get you're gonna buy it if you don't like it you're not gonna buy it like it's as simple as that like why use your brain and time and energy and effort to go comment on something you're not even interested about like just just let it go just let it go but yeah whatever oh we're gonna make that turn this is a nice view, man. This is a nice view. I'm just gonna go outside a little bit. Look at that. I got a little bit off to the side. Got this. <laughs> I just realized, I just realized I could use this trick to get like a bunch of nice screenshots. Let me try going to the other side and then like turning around. And there's, there's definitely sun on the other side. But this is a good trick. But all you need is like X camera. To like be able to go to the surfaces. They're back here. Yeah, you just need patience for the speed. It's gonna take a shot nonetheless. True. I mean, I think it's the case in like anything, like anything we compare. Like, you know, if you watch soccer or football, as they call it in the rest of the world, like there's been this Messi versus Ronaldo debate, and it's just dumb. Like, yeah, sure, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you prefer one over the other, but like, they're both great players. Like, just, just does not make any sense to. Yeah, you can say for me this guy is better than this guy, but to say okay this other guy is trash, like it's just does not make any sense. They're good, and that's why there's a debate in the first place. Like, 
This is weird. I have phone force. Yeah, I, I, I have this fan friendly banter with my wife all the time. She has an iPhone, I have an Android. Oh, iPhone's down. Wait, what is this? I've never seen this before. Pilot reference manual. If only I could read it. Hey, look at that. Like you got you you got the QRH here. Like nice. Yeah, sorry, that's the QRH. It's pretty cool. Where am I supposed to descend? Okay, I know where. I only play flights so. and that's a word you don't wanna use. Play flights. <laughs> Oh my god, this scenery is too good out on the outside. Wow! What on earth is this? This looks so good. Alright, Marstown, Bristol, Newport. Got Tanuga. Oh this is this is really nice scenery. Be hardcore realistic. Gamer flights in. <laughs> Here, here's the nice river. I don't even know what river that is. Maybe it's the Oga River. River. If something like that exists. Where am I? Like, I do like the map here, but the only thing I don't like is, like, it doesn't self-center when you zoom in. It should let you center, like, a button or something. Oh, I did not know this! No way! Dude! What? This is nice. Is this like an updated Avitab? Why have I not known this before? Hell yeah. Oh, what happened? Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't want it on all the time, but it, it is handy. It is handy if you want to see what airport you are or. ILS like to get ILS frequencies and whatnot. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You get VORs for navigation as well. And maybe like not that zoomed out. But yeah, once you zoom in enough, you'll see the VORs. This is nice. Where where has this been for all this time? Like, you can see all the waypoints and whatnot. Sick. I'm gonna keep VORs on. Definitely helps. Gamer Addy Singh is in the house. What's up, my man? Welcome aboard. Alright, so before we hit our top of descent, I'm gonna leave you guys on the outside view. And I will be back in about. I'll be preparing for landing, and a lot of that happens very quickly. Yeah, it is. It is super cool, man. I, I, I never knew this. I just like randomly hit that button. I'm like, wow, this sounds fun. Oh, I'm happy. Well, we never say no to more features. But yeah, in the meantime, I'll be back in about.
we're back. Imagine landing, just I just crash. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are at up DG. And after a lot is when we go start uh, making the descent. So let's get the descent path ready to go here. Uh, KATL, one of my favorite airports. And that, especially because of like the scenery and stuff. It's, Makes it nicer. I was. I, it did say we were gonna have like a night landing. You go ahead and get the. Okay, lights are on. to change my reshade for um this is a real nice one uh for the reshade if you want to know uh there's this called real xp night preset that's a pretty good preset i'll, I'll show you once we go completely dark right now uh but 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 now we're making that turn i gotta get those charts ready here we go no no not ksfo atlanta well, let's get the weather here. Weather briefing. AATL. Let's go search. 310 at 9. Cool. So that's that's all I need for now. 310 at 9. Air back. Arrival. We are on the Andre 1, I believe. I believe this is what we are on. Yeah, we're on Andre one. Cool. So at Andre, we gotta be at thirteen thousand, and we're still coming inbound to Aladi. That's cool. And uh, winds were three something. We're coming from up north, I believe. Yeah, we're coming from north, but we can uh, take uh, two six right for arrival. Two six right is good. Um, to make sure all right cool yeah it does make sense to go to right? rather is it I don't know I'm confused look at that sky there oh there it goes drew, drew for easy reference yeah, three one zero. Yeah, so definitely two six right. Okay. Gonna go to the FMS here. Uh, let's go departure and arrivals and arrivals. Get us something. Next page. Next page. Okay, I missed. All right, ILS two six. And then. Uh, That's taken care of. Oh, uh, I forgot. Yeah, I think I have to do it on the nav radio as well. So one 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 zero point one. It is one one zero point one. That in. And oh, perfect. So navs are taken care of. The only thing I need to change is the course. Uh, let's let's make it completely night. So let's be night reset. Darkness. Oh, my logo lights are not on. Let's turn the wing lights on and let's start the descent.
skewed. I use my Bravo for that. Well, let's bring it down to like say 10,000 now. Go back to 10,000. Oh, I'm gonna go vertical speed and bring the throttle back. Let's turn on the seatbelt signs. And the zoom back in. Apparently I unsubscribed. That's not possible. If you unsubscribe, you can't type in the chat. Go to done broke. I usually do 10,000 feet to be cautious when there is no ATC. Yeah, that's that's what I did as well, 10,000. Uh, let's just... just uh, Alright, so right now we are at the wheel. We were supposed to get to 8-4. I'm going to raise that, put that nose down a bit further. 1,500 feet per minute. I'll try to see what I can take for this... Uh, Got my logo lights on? Yeah, there we go. Nice! Nice one, Drew. 1200 for the win. Alright, speed's creeping up just a little bit. I'm gonna bring that down here. And I'm gonna try to maintain about 270 on that descent. And bring the thrust back down. I think I think I need to I need to that faster. Two thousand. Let's do two thousand five hundred feet per minute and bring the throttle back. I literally don't know where everything else is going. Gotta trust your instruments. Trust your instrument. That's the beauty of night flying. Can't tell anything. Wing lights are nice though. Lights are definitely good. Not dark fast. <laughs> That's the beauty of being in the sim. Alright, bringing the thrust back down and since on the descent we're gonna need to use the throttle and stuff, so I'm gonna bring the controls cam back on. The thrust is on idle right now. Uh, let me check. I need to make sure my reversers are armed. Oh, oh they weren't. Good lord, I remember that. Good. It's YYZ KRD. I think I've done that very recently. I, 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 I don't remember perfectly, but I just did that flight recently. Yeah. Um, uh, if Flight requests go in the Discord, like there's a flight request channel in my Discord. Uh, kind of makes it easier to, you know, just room. I, I can't remember from the streams. I, have to, I usually always reference the flights from the request section. So you can put it there. I'm sure that happens one time or the other. Now we got air. What well, we got the aircraft right in front of us. We got this guy. Uh, we're. Okay, so he's coming towards us in a CRJ 200. Wow, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be very interesting. I feel like we are on the path to like intercept him or something. <laughs> true that, true that. It's Atlanta. Huge runway, so this one we're landing on is like 9,000. Yeah, it's not that big. Like if we were landing on like these ones, these are huge. Like two seven right. Oh, probably won't even need brakes. Like the drag and need brake would be enough. It's like multiple different aircrafts. I don't. It's gone past us. Where? You're like above us. Oh, look at that moon. I don't I don't see that other aircraft. Whatever. I think that's the airport. 
dude. Back in. So, this is how it's gonna go. Let me quickly take a look. Where is it that we're... We're coming right there. We need to go direct hangs. Uh, 275 on the course. I'm gonna get rid of this. Here's my... Lights can be a little bit lower. I forgot where my course is. Uh, oh, I think it's right here. Right here, sorry. Okay, so I'll, I'll fix that in a second. Aviation Lover 2111, what's the fun? It says gear. What about it? Still pretty high up. Nothing to worry about. Um, speed is looking good so far. Uh, altimeter is going to be 52 true. Uh, 29 or 87, so I'm going to go ahead and start setting that up. 29 or 87. Alright, beautiful. And um, I'm gonna go early on shutting the music off. But we can focus on this thing better. Hmm. That stairway, it says we need to be at 15,427. I think we're good. I think. Yeah, we should. I can back off on that descent rate a little bit here. Make it 2,000 feet per minute. Help us lead that speed off a little. Uh, speed's currently... Let's, let's make it 260. Oh! <laughs> that would be exclamation point redeem space gear. That's, that's how it is. <laughs> no worries, man. I was like, wait, wait, what, did I forget the gear or something? Well, no, we're high up. 18,000. Great stuff. Speed is bleeding off ever so slightly. We'll keep that. 17,000 at volts. It says we are going to be at 9,000. And then from volts, we will go directly to radar vectors and then get onto the final. 9,000 at volts. That's 10,000 will be just about there. I'm going to give it a little bit of speed breaks here. That's helped to slow down. sure my heading is aligned Oof, that would have been a long scroll I'm gonna keep it somewhere there we're gonna make that turn to wolves go from there now we'll be rectoring ourselves um, so Waltz is Waltz is right there and then we got Heinz which we are supposed to be 5,000. Okay, so that's that's a pretty long final, 15.6 on the DME. That is great. That's in traffic. Uh, yeah, we, we don't have any... We don't have much but some traffic, to be honest. And now we're seeing some night lighting on there. It's still probably dark. I'm just gonna make it darker. And now, now the planes are gonna change. Uh, that's that's what Traffic Global does. Holy crap! It's 2:30 in the night. Now that's that's too late. <laughs> you know, whoever that was almost got me. Like, wow. My changes. At least we get a, a bunch of 
planes there. But yeah, if I, if I hadn't paused on that second to check the timing, you, you would have definitely. Yeah, we, we do have because this thing works like traffic global. Holy crap, what is going on? Look at how many planes that are taking off here at Atlanta. Like literally, yeah, we got one aircraft coming in. But like what's what's that? Oh I think oh yeah, I think it has to do with the time change. Yeah, that's that's that that messes it up at times. Uh let's bring the okay, we're at ten thousand. We're getting there. Uh bolts is nine thousand, so I can afford to Reduce that to a thousand feet per minute and bring the altitude down to nine thousand. There we go. At 260, I'm gonna go under 250. Yeah, Friday is usually a lot busier on Watson, but I am usually a lot busier on Fridays as well, so kinda like you know I do Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah. That was aviation lover. <laughs> kind of looks like sea urchin. Oh yeah, it's it's uh, it's a lot of people. All right, let's bring that uh, landing rate predictions in here. Give me one second here before I lose all of our nest. So, we're still on idle thrust, by the way. Oh, I forgot to pick winner last time. That was ideal for the win, I remember. So that's good. We're gonna start it again. Here we go. All right, so 9,000, and that's Heinz. Atlanta traffic, uh, Delta 1189 uh, on. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's 1189 on Andre 1 arrival inbound uh, Andre uh, for ILS 26 right approach Atlanta. 10,000 feet. 10,000 feet. Get our lights going. Heat lights are on. We're good to go. Alright, the speed's gone down a little, so I'm gonna raise that thrust back up. We're gonna level off at nine. Uh, Gamer Addy, um, you gotta do exclamation predict uh, one of those words that it says. So butter, hard butter. If you want to predict a 105, then you would do exclamation predict butter and then space uh, the amount of points. You could do like 10 points. All right, yoke back up. And I'm just waiting here, just waiting. We got some traffic in Atlanta. We had some traffic and normal traffic. Yeah, so exclamation predict butter space 10 is what you could do. Uh, aviation lover depending on the landing rate check the description if you want to predict a butter that's it's butter if you want to predict a hard butter which is 125 to 150 a hard butter space that's it's it's a little complicated but once you get it you know what to do so pretty much what drew's done and the hundred that he has put in is is a simjet miles you can check your balance with excellent Speed down. Actually, I'll keep it there. That's a good speed. Zoom back in. Now we obviously have a discontinuity. We have Vector should take care of. Look at that night lighting. You can see the city lights being reflected off of the clouds and the fog. That is amazing. Without without the space, gamer. Without the space. Just copy what Drew did. Drew predicts an ideal, that's the only difference. And do you have 70 points? So exclamation point sim jet miles one word that shows you your your balance. You can't do 305. 
<laughs> oh my god, what? it's so hard to explain. I need to probably get rid of that system. Yeah, WebFMC is a plugin that lets me do that. Alright, so I'm gonna make sure heading, I'm gonna go into heading mode. Our current heading is gonna be 175. So let's do 175. There we go. And I'm just gonna go heading mode. Uh, I'm gonna change my nav source to. That and then well, 275 is my course. And I need to continue that descent as well. So bring us down to 5,000. Right, vertical speed down. Bring the throttle back out. As I said, this is going to be a lot of work. I don't want the speed to go up, so we'll bring the speed back, get some speed brakes on there. And unfortunately, I won't be able to focus on the chat anymore because this is like the heaviest workload. Oh, yeah, I remember this. I remember this. Uh, Two seventy five, there we go. Oh okay, they're coming up there, but There. Alright. We're on this heading right now. Okay. Don't crash. Thank you. Speed brakes. Speed brakes, please. Let's make it to like 1200 feet per minute so I'll just slow down. Oh, weather change, weather change, whatever, I'll take it. We'll take that. Okay, try it now. Drew's gonna help you get it done. Alright, speed's coming down. Uh, my approach speeds, approach speeds, approach speeds. Thirty-five. All right, let's do one thirty-five then. All right, it's bringing us down, nice and easy. I G X Z. I G X Z. All right, so we have the localizer. We have the localizer. Just gotta be making sure that the speed bleeds off real quick. I'm just gonna add a little bit of flaps here, up with the drag. Wow, look at that sight. Look at that sight. It's lovely, lovely stuff. There we go, you got it. You got it. Okay, we're at it. <laughs> yeah, so WebFMC is a plugin that I'm using with this. Alright, format, zoom in a little bit more. 5,000 feet is coming up. Get rid of the. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll just keep it up so I don't gain too much speed here. Or I could do that. All right, there we go. Speed brakes back up. Try to slow this thing down. Atlanta traffic Delta eleven seven uh, eleven eighty nine. Uh, Right base for ILS 26 right approach Atlanta. Atlanta traffic is 319. Uh, right now we are. Oh my god! This. What? Oh no, it's 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 traffic global. Everyone wants to land 26 right. <laughs> Here's a few extra for the inconvenience. There we go. 
So who is this guy on final? Okay, this guy's on final. This guy's right behind him. And this is some random guy who's also joining Traffic Global, I believe. Or is it, are they like above us? I don't know. I can't tell. I can't tell what their altitude is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Head, heading, 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 heading. Yeah, we're gonna overshoot the ILS here. I think. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's keep that throttle back in. Dropping the speed real quick. And let's go. Here's my approach. There we go. And approach mode is armed. Localizer captured. Dang, look at that departing traffic there. Nice. And yeah, we we overshot it, so we're gonna get it right this time. Oof, interesting. Uh, let's make sure. Atlanta traffic, Delta 1189, fully established ILS 26 right approach, Atlanta. Alright, so we got the. Okay. So I've heard that voice. I've heard that voice. I don't know who it is, but I've heard it. Final uh, collapse. 8. So we still don't have the the glide slope. But are we descending? No, no, we're not. That's cool. That is exactly how we want it. Uh, I'm gonna shut this off. X and Wiro. Uh, sorry, hold on. X pilot. Aircraft labels off. So at least I can see the runway better. And I'm just gonna use this to verify. He is landing. Uh, these are traffic global. I don't care about them. Uh, so. Yeah, we're pretty much. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're like we got no one. This guy's coming in. This guy's got some traffic, but he's coming in. So, oof. I like that lighting. I like that lighting. All right, glide slope is captured. We're following it. Uh, whoa. whoa, whoa. Wait a sec, close, 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 close. My speed's going up, my speed's go going up. And how far am I? 13 mile final. Yeah, he's coming in. Uh, we should be at a good distance uh, as long as I maintain that speed. Uh, let's bring the speed down to 180. That's what I'm trying, gonna try to maintain. Um, and I'm gonna go flaps. Uh, what is that? I think I'm over speeding. Yeah, speed brakes helping. Just gonna bring this up right here and keep it right behind me. I can see that because that's hard to read. Right, 160 is good. Go down to final approach 135. That one. Here we go. Oh. And. My aircraft. Anybody coming into the launch? Negative uh, Delta 1189 on uh, final four two six right uh, eight mile final. Uh, let's go gear down.
let's go flaps 30 quickly want to check the speeds here oh actually it's we were supposed to be much slower there we go Hey J, what's going on man? Just in time, isn't it? Welcome to the stream, my man. Welcome aboard. I'm not able to line this up. I'm just gonna go hard right. A little crosswind from the right. One thousand. The trim is good for the speed. So pretty much all I have to do now is play with the throttle. This could go very bad or this could go butter. Alright, trying to keep my eyes off the chat now. We're slightly low on this approach. Atlanta traffic delta through uh, 1189 short final for ILS 26 right. <laughs> nope. You ain't getting me. The wind's trying to blow me off. Okay, that's traffic global. I'm gonna land anyway. That's not Watson. Well, maybe it is Watson traffic. I don't know. Negative 188. Just want to make sure my spoilers are out. And 80 knots, manual braking. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Atlanta. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I mean, yeah, not a butter, but hey, that was that was a nice landing. But I, I gotta figure out why my <laughs> why my camera effects like XP realistic did not work. Beautiful. I love this landing. Wow. I don't know how much the float was on it, but... Alright, clean up the flaps. Speed brakes. Atlanta traffic. Uh, Delta 1189 cleared. Runway 26 right. I'm just going to keep my lights on since I'm going to be crossing the runway. But that was nice. We're okay. We pretty much used like the entire runway, but that is cool. Here, right here, left. Right. It was nice to see that other aircraft departing. It was so freaking nice. Has that wait? What, what has ever gotten to me? Wait. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. Always good to see you, my man, Bigger J. Absolutely. Just gonna keep the lights on for now as we cross this runway. Atlanta traffic, uh, Delta 1189, crossing runway 26 uh, left, Atlanta. Gonna quickly check. Yeah, we're good to go. There's a traffic global aircraft landing. Oh, he just landed. 
And I can get rid of this now. Use the throttle up. Get to that crossing. Oh my god, I used the wrong one. I have to go here. Actually, that's fine. Delta Park's there. But we're good. Very good. I'm, I didn't go the wrong way. Delta Park's there. Atlanta traffic, Delta 1189, clear runway 26. Probe's going off as well. Let's go APU. Oh, we got a Southwest. Actually, I need to keep my nose light on. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead, X Pilot. Labels on, yeah. That's that's not our, that's not a Watson traffic. That's not Watson traffic. But this is cool. I love traffic global. You know, just be able to see a bunch of aircraft realistically. Yeah, for takeoffs and landings, I'm not gonna let these aircrafts ruin my takeoffs and landings, or especially landings. So I'm not gonna go around because of them. But otherwise, I would probably just wait for them, and you know, just just have that higher level of immersion. That was nice. Let's, uh, hold on. I mean, now there's some other CRJs parked here. Pick winner is the ideal landing. And let's get the music back on. Uh, Bigger J, that will be exclamation point Simjet Miles. One word, Simjet Miles. Well, this was nice. Runway turnoffs. Low enough. We got a marshaller there, but it looks like those gates are not free. Those are too far. We'll just we'll just go further ahead here. I mean, is there even a gate that's free? Nope. What the heck? Dude, where do I... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take up one of these gates. Oh, we had one on that side. I'm just gonna take up one of these gates. Alrighty. Yeah, the, the aircraft will disappear. Nose light going off. Yeah, uh, that, that aircraft will disappear. <laughs> they literally have no gates for me. Traffic Global, come on. Oh, they took away that aircraft, but not this one. Wow, are you kidding me? Oh, I know why. Because that I'm going to just power back here. I know why because that's not traffic global. That's the scenery static aircraft. I see reversers take me back. I'll park on the next gate. <laughs> this has to be funny. The reversers are not powerful enough it seems. Oh, low haven't been there in a minute. Yeah, man, that's all right. 339, not bad at all, to be honest with you. Pilot on strike. <laughs> Atlanta is busy, and this is like real world schedules that it's running. So. Oh, I'll get the right reverser off. Actually, it's not helping. This is stupid. Absolutely stupid. A 
Okay, now, so basically what I need to do is get rid of all the static aircrafts from all the sceneries that I have to avoid a confusion like this. Alright, sorry about that. Take a look at that marshaller. Yep. When do I start turning? I am gonna do that now. Fire traffic, Westwood 3602, spot one more time, runway 26 left. Oh yeah, that is true. It is. Uh, so, like Traffic Global, they have everything like assigned, all the gates and all that kind of stuff. Stopped early. There we go. Had the parking brake here, ladies and gentlemen. We are out. APU is available. APU gens coming on, and both engines can be turned off. And beacon lights going off as well. Wing lights can go off. So can the seatbelt signs, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the here comes the jetway, which we're now gonna get on almost every uh, oh not almost, but on every single airport with X plane 12. So I'm excited for that. But I want to see how the jetway connects here. But yeah, that was slightly off the line. Not not perfect parking for me, but I guess that works. Beautiful, beautiful. You guys know what this means. I'm gonna get rid of the controls cam here and we are gonna jump straight into the replays here. Let me disconnect from Ratson. And there we go. Lovely, lovely stuff. Replay mode we go. Hopefully it doesn't crash like last time. I'm just gonna let it go back by itself. Oh, that's gonna be actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go back a little. If it crashes, it crashes. But I know all this mess right here. And now, now it's good to go back. So I shouldn't be doing the forward and backwards at the same time. And look at those lights and stuff, nice. That's actually a very long taxi. Rather do that and hope it doesn't quit. Let it settle there. Play. There we go. Dude, look look at that. Holy holy, wait a second. That's a screenshot. Had to take it. Another one right there. Let's watch this landing. Comes over the runway. And there comes the flare. Oh yeah. Yep. Little too little on the flare, but we did not float. Uh, let's check our touchdown point and go there. down yeah look at the center line where's where on earth is the center it's slightly off of it and then on based on the markers pretty good pretty good acceptable definitely acceptable day-to-day -day landing 
Oh, love it. Um, it could have been smoother. Could have been smoother, but yeah, that's that's cool. I will take that for the landing. That's a nice plane spotting view. What? Look at that. Look at that. Oh boy. One for the books. That's a nice angle. Oh, wait a sec. Wait a sec. No. I cannot help but pause at moments that let me take good screenshots. I wish that plane looked better though. I wish that plane looked better. Let's let's see. Maybe just a little bit back. Uh, maybe. Maybe that. But yeah, the, the resolution on that plane is not good at all. So that's a pretty, pretty nice view out there. Alrighty. On to the runway view. Watch this come in. A nice little plane, fun little plane to fly. I definitely love it. The only thing is it doesn't have auto throttle, so sometimes gets to me. But this time I think we, we did fairly well. Yeah, the landing could have been better in terms of softness. Like, you know, just flared a little early. And that's that's what caused us to drop down sooner. We lost all the airspeed. But all in all, I mean, I will take that landing. Let's check out the window view here. Why does it not have any plugins? Yeah, there we go. Hold on, let me let me quickly do this. Uh, XP realistic save. Yeah, I did not have that on. So we could actually let's 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 take a look at this first. Like actually have it look like during our landing. Oh no, the actual hardness. So that's how it felt. I was like, I'm like, what? Where's the effects? Let's watch that from this view. And we'll go to the other wing view and then we'll go to the tower view and call it a day. Lovely. Nice. Look at that wing flex. Holy crap, that's nice. All right, over to the right wing. We got some nice views on this side. Now look at that. Maybe just a little bit back. Look at that view. Let's play. Damn, some nice views there. That's why I said I would totally, totally, totally love it. Got those ailerons move, all that kind of crazy stuff, and just that last second drop. Cut the power out too soon as well, but we'll take it. All right, onto the tower view we go. That means we're gonna run the track. Yeah, I, I so love that from XP. <laughs> Go! Watch that come in. Bring her down. In style. Yeah, reflections are great. 
are actually really well done on the windows and stuff but there we go bringing her down ladies and gentlemen this is gonna be it for today's stream thank you so so much to all of you who stopped by on the channel thank you for hitting that like button absolutely appreciate the support and you know, it can't it can't happen without you guys and you guys you know big ups to all you guys who hung out with us and uh, i will see you guys very very soon this is gonna be it for today if you haven't already do check us out on discord exclamation point discord in the chat or just a few messages up my bot has posted a link in the description do hang out with us and i will see you guys on another day this is gonna be it thank you so so much again and until then bye bye take care stay safe everyone and spread love happy weekend enjoy the time with your loved ones with your family and just have enjoy this world this life and this aviation that's given us so much than we could ever ask for until then take care stay safe sim aviators signing out peace <laughs>